What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm finally making the video on how to do the poor man's access port. So I made a mod overview video about six months ago highlighting all the features of this car and I mentioned the uh, poor man's access port and I've been receiving a lot of questions on how to do it. Well it's actually really easy. So all it is is my old Android phone, in this case it's a OnePlus One. I have an OBD2 Bluetooth adapter from Amazon and two apps. One is called Torque Pro and the other one is a plug-in called Active OBD for Torque Pro. So what this pretty much allows you to do is read OBD2 data from your EC you. So I can look at all my temps, I can look at my RPMs, my AFRs, and I can also, you know, look at my CVT temp as well, which is not something that comes standard on these cars. So this is actually very helpful if you're going to do a CVT service since, you know, you have to get your fluid up to temp so that you can get the max capacity. Uh, this will definitely help with that. So if you're looking to do that, uh, this is a good video to watch. So before we begin on how to do this, it's actually really easy. I'm going to show you guys what I currently have for my set up and how I kind of have it you know installed as a dash setup so it only comes on really when the car is on but yeah I'll show you guys what I have let's get right into it all right guys so here's how I have mine set up so I have it right up here you no know, easily visible while you're driving at this suction mount that I got off Amazon or somewhere it was really cheap and just this little grasping thing you know <laughs> easy enough we got this micro USB cable running all the way down and through there down to here and then right into the center console here through this hole that comes on all sewers. Anyway, that's what that is. So right now you can see the screen is off, but once I you know turn the keys, it comes to life. And I know that chime might sound familiar. Oh, there's Japanese stuff. Yeah, I'll let all the all the voices go. Anyway, so here it is on. And you heard that chime earlier, it's from a BMW. <laughs> I just put through it on there. But anyway, here's what I got. So as you can see, it comes on when the car has power. Phone is always on. So that's the one thing that is probably a con about this is the phone is always on. So when it does get too cold or too hot, it will shut off. And you know, that's just because of the phone. But for the most part, you know, it, it will stay in sleep mode until you turn the car on. And honestly, that's really the only way that I can think of on how to do this. As you can see, the car is on. Once I start it up, we can see. So you'll see it go through the power sequence once more. How's that startup for you guys? It's kind of a cold start right now, so a little loud, but uh, it'll be okay, hopefully. All right, so the car is more warmed up now, so it won't be so loud. But anyway, here's my setup here. I got my coolant temp CVT, AFR, and oil temp. And uh, I used to have more, but for some reason this reset itself, so I had to re-add the gauges. But also the top portion of my screen doesn't work, so it's kind of tough to, you know, drag in new gauges and all that. But yeah, that's what I got right now. As you can see, the car is on, is reading everything, oil temp and all that, AFRs. This is really about the same AFR your access port on your WRX would read anyway, so it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, you just can't, you know, obviously you can't upload tunes or take data logs or anything like that on this. This is only just to read information, so it works. See the AFRs jump, you know, pretty neat, right? But yeah, that's really it. You can see when I turn this off, it goes into this sleeping screen. So sometimes this does turn off the display automatically. I've honestly see it do different things. Like right now it's just staying right there. So it uh, looks like it'll turn off. Yeah, so sometimes it does turn off the display, but sometimes it may stay on. Um, you can set it to this screen when there's no power active into the phone. And I'll show you guys how to do that here shortly. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the access port in here. I mean, pretty straightforward stuff. So before anything, you gotta make sure you have an OBD2 Bluetooth adapter, which you can purchase off Amazon. So here Here's mine right under the dash. So pull that out of there. All right, so here we are. I have the Pan Long or whatever Bluetooth adapter from Amazon. It was like less than $10. You can honestly find any that have good reviews on it. They're really not that expensive. I'm sure maybe if you pay for the more expensive ones, it will be better. But honestly, since having this, it's pretty much worked. I uh, never really had an issue with it. So pick one of these up. I'll try to link this one down below if I can find it. And yeah, hook this up into the car and we connect your phone. But yeah, make sure you purchase one of these for this. 
just for this to work. Here's the OBD2 port right there. This should just plug right in. And as you can see, it's located right under here, coming down this way, right there. So yeah, pretty easy to get to. And essentially you'll just plug this in there and then your phone will connect to this and then you can proceed with the rest. Okay, so the app you'll need is called Torque Pro. This is $4.95 on the Play Store. Um, they do have a light version, but I'm not sure what features that has and doesn't have. So I would recommend purchasing this full version here, only $4.95 on the Play Store. So then the plugin you'll need in order to read your CVT temperature, if you have that, is called Active OBD. Now there is is a standalone app for that now. Uh, I did try using that and it doesn't seem to work as great, but they do have this legacy one right here, the Active OBD TQ Old. So you can use this and install this and then you can enable it in Torque Pro. And that allows you to enable some gauges that you normally can't do by default. So right now I'm gonna set this up on my actual phone just so we can start from scratch here. First things first is you wanna to connect to your Bluetooth adapter. So make sure your car is on, it has to be on, on. It can just be, you know, on accessory. And then you can go into your Bluetooth settings, of course, and select your adapter, password. Just go check if your manual and see what it is. But mine is one, two, three, four by default pair. Okay. And after you did that, you can go ahead into your Torque app. And first things first, you do want to turn on the plugin, which I've already done, but I'll show you guys where that is. So you go into settings, go into plugins, and then you can see you have a list of installed plugins. And you want to make sure Active OB TQ is there. Um, it should be automatic, but if not, this is where you can turn them on. And make sure you turn on this setting here that says allow plugins full access so this is how torque can communicate with your plugin so once i start the car you'll be able to see that this rpm will change obviously that means we are connected to our adapter successfully so we can give that a shot right here <laughs> Okay, so now that we're connected, you can honestly do a lot. So real-time information, you know, you can set all your gauges and whatnot. So it comes with some default ones here, as you can see, but pretty much you can add a lot of stuff here. So, you know, if you press and add display, you can definitely mess around with this. It's not really hard to get into, but I mean, select whatever. So you can see all the different sensors you can set. And here is the plugin in action. So you can see it says Act OBD, AT, CVT fluid temperature, all that stuff. Like any of those is not something you normally have um, if you don't have that plugin. So I got air fuel ratio, you know, we got coolant temperature, we got you know RPMs, any of that stuff. So we can just add a basic one like RPM and select your size, you know, whatever you want this you can move around do whatever you want I mean let's see pretty neat huh but yeah that's how you do the display options there but there's also a couple things you want to do so that you can kind of have this installed in the dash like I do so back on the main screen here we can add in a couple settings that will help you guys install this like how I did mine kind of like a dash installation but pretty much go into your settings here go into general and then scroll down. My first recommendation here is start up in dashboard. So dashboard is where all your gauges are. So I would always go to dashboard just so, you know, when the phone restarts or whatever, it will always go back there once you start the app. You can also remember the last dashboard visible. This will just show the last page of whatever you had on there. Um, this is something I do. So you can always look up all, all these settings as well, see what works for you. But that's one of those right there. Another one you want to do is go into dash installation settings right here. And this is, you know, the golden settings per se for your dash. Um, start torque on reboot. I'll turn that on. Delayed OB connection. Uh, you can if you want, um, whatever you like. Uh, I would do use airplane mode if this phone that you're using isn't a dedicated phone uh, just to save power that you can reduce screen frame rates I'll do that as well and then here is the setting here that says allow device to turn off so this you might want to turn on when you know when your car is not connected to it you want the device to turn off so this is what this does you can see pretty closely you know when no external power is connected 
So this will probably do what I showed you guys earlier when I turn my car off. So we can do that real quick, allow the device to turn off. And some of these settings you might have to reboot torque just for it to start up. So then with all those settings added and with your phone connected on your charger, you can see once I turn off the car, it'll default to this sleeping screen like you guys saw earlier. Yeah, this might stay on like this. I think it depends on your phone and what settings you have, but you can always just do it by yourself and turn it off like that. But yeah, there's certainly a lot of things you can do. You mean add some more gauges if you'd like. There's so much you can do in this app, it's not even funny. <laughs> but yeah, so CVT temps right here. This is probably pretty important if you want to prolong the life of your transmission because these are prone to damage when you expose them to too much of the heat. So yeah, you can add your gauges, do whatever you want, guys. There's unlimited possibilities. Um, if you want to check your check engine light codes, you can go back to the main screen and then they have a fault code section. So you'll tap to scan. Um, this car has none right now, but when I had my Catalyst header, it would have the PO420 code. So, it'd be funny if there was a code, but it wasn't visible yet, so we'll see. As you can see, obviously, no faults on this car anymore, so that's always nice to see. But yeah, on this screen, this is where you'll see, you know, all your check engine light codes, if you had any. So, of course, I don't have any right now, thank goodness. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. That's all it is. Old Android phone. OBD2 Bluetooth adapter, Torque Pro, Active OBD, and you know, a phone mount and charger setup of some sort. And then you can have yourself a poor man's access port. But yeah, I hope that'll help you guys out. Uh, I'm not sure if you're gonna need Active OBD if you're not looking to get your CVT temperatures and all that. That might be a Subaru thing. I'm not 100% sure about that. So yeah, hopefully this helped you guys out. I got a lot of questions about this for the past couple months and definitely been slacking a little bit on making this video. But anyway, we're going too long. Nice day out. Might go take some photos or something. So yeah, follow me on Instagram, what I get GFX, Katana Style, at katana.style on Instagram and katanastyle.com. Stay tuned for series two. It is coming soon. I am slacking past few weeks, but <laughs> I'm really trying to get this out very soon here. So now for that guys, of course, watch 20 is your discount code or my website you can save yourself 20 percent off your order um, just for my youtube supporters here so anyway as always thank you all for your support and i'll catch you guys later